One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> Roxanne, I'm sorry that I'm leaving a message on your beach house answering machine, and I'm sorry that when you get home you're going to have a lot of messages on your city house answering machine as well. Please apologize to your parents for me, especially Mrs. Gallagher. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Beth, you are my best friend. I mean, you're my rock. You're like, um, you're like my lighthouse in troubled waters. Which is why I needed to tell you that the girls here are saying these despicable things to me. These despicable lies. And I know that they are going to call you and they are going to tell you the same lies. But you need to know that they are simply just trying to take the boat away from the lighthouse. And you cannot whisk the boat away from its lighthouse. You just can't do that. It's... You just can't. So I just need you to know that I am fighting for our friendship here, Beth. And I can't fight alone. I need you to fight with me, so please fight with me. I'm sorry, Beth. I'm just going through a lot right now. You're my best friend, but there's a lot of things that that you don't know about me. Beth, I don't live that pretty picture-perfect life that everyone thinks I live. Beth. My parents are alcoholics. I mean, they are passed out cold by 5 p.m., which means that I really do have to uh, be the backbone of the family. I mean, I'm the one who does laundry, I clean, I cook, I sign the report cards, I change light bulbs, and sometimes I even wash the floor on my hands and knees. I'm like Cinderella, honestly. That's, that's what I'm like. Anyways, I hope you and your family are enjoying your summer. Enjoy your vacation, Mr. and Mrs. Gallagher. Uh, please call me back. Okay, I love you. Bye. Sweetheart, would you like some more milk with your dinner? No, thank you, darling. And once again, you've more than outdone yourself with this meal. <laughs> mm, thank you, honey. You're welcome. Oh, and Roxanne, you haven't eaten anything. You really need to eat nutritious food to stay healthy. I know. You're right. I love you, Mom. Oh, oh I love you too, honey. I don't know about you and that girl. Look. That wasn't what it looked like. Uh... Don't make this bad, okay? I know. I knew, I know. It's okay. I mean, I guess... I get it. You didn't have a nice childhood. Everybody's always talking about their youth. I never had that. It all just passed me by. My home life was... Chaotic. Home life was full of toxicity. And you had all this undue responsibility. And you had to be an adult. But you were still just a little fucked up kid. And all this toxicity in your household, it like swelled up inside you. That's one way to put it. Juvie, GED, a runaway. I get it. Now your life's back on track. You've got a surrogate family with the Gallaghers, love. Not surrounded by fuck ups anymore. Yes. But now that you're not surrounded by fuck ups anymore, I guess you're still surrounded by constant reminders of. Everything that you lack, right? All those kids, 
your lives, your teenage magic. Teenage magic that you never had. And I mean, this was a time to have that. And, and this girl was, I guess, a sort of way for you to live through that again, sort of rewrite your own history, make it good. I'm sorry. I really am. Before I can forgive you, um, I do need one question answered. Honestly, not with honesty by omission, but honest honesty. Okay. Okay. Did you cross the line with that girl? Did you cross the line? No. With Never. I swear. Okay. Mm, I guess it's okay then. I think I love you. My 